time for a little bit of Italian style. I'll start with the disclaimer. This is the first AGV helmet I've ever tried. So as such, this is a review of the new AX9 on its own merits. This is just what I've found from wearing it over the last few weeks. Before we have a look at this helmet in any great detail, I just want to thank AGV UK for sorting out this press sample for me. Now, I wouldn't be able to bring as many video reviews to this channel as I do if it wasn't for the support of some of the distributors and some of the manufacturers. So thank you for that. As ever with my reviews, this is exactly how I find this helmet warts and all of course adventure style helmets are not to everybody's taste and certainly don't suit all bikes but i like the flexibility of this helmet which we'll touch on later on but one of the main draws for this style of helmet that i like is the very big field of vision that you get and agv have up the game on this one over the outgoing ax8 it's got 190 degrees of vision horizontally and 110 degrees vertically and it's very noticeable when you're riding this just how much uh, open space you've got in front of you. Let's just take a look at some of the basic construction facts before we delve any further. The helmet is made from a carbon aramid fiberglass composite so that means it is nice and light. This is a size large and it's one of three shell sizes that are available. In terms of weight, well, this large one comes in at 1495 grams, so a really nice lightweight piece of kit. It has a double D ring fastening. The interior is very plush and we'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I'm sure you'll agree that it is, for this style of helmet, a pretty handsome looking thing. In the box with the helmet is a Pinlock Max Vision uh, anti-fog insert. Nice and easy to fit in uh, and gives loads of coverage. Okay, so we know the visor is big. What's it like to use in real life? Well, you've got a plastic tab on either side uh, to pop it open. The helmet also has a micro opening visor, so that means you can just pop it up a little fraction, enough to get an airflow through, but it doesn't break the seal at the top here, so you don't have water running down and on the inside of the visor, but just gives enough airflow for those days where there's a big differential in temperature between the inside of the helmet and the outside of the helmet, and it just helps with condensation. One of the things I often neglect to talk about and people ask me on my helmet reviews is what's it like for wearing with glasses. Now, I don't particularly like to wear sunglasses under helmets, so I don't try them out and I don't wear normal glasses when I'm riding either. But I'm led to believe that this is very good and the helmet will accommodate glasses very easily. If we look at the side profile of the helmet, you can see that it is quite long and the visor is pushed a fair way out so that means if you are wearing glasses you get quite a good gap between your glasses and the visor and that should help with any misting problems now although it's quite a minimalist design i found ventilation on this helmet to be pretty good you've got a small button on the front here which just opens up that vent you get a decent amount of airflow through there and in the same way you've got two vents at the top here which just pop open and you do get a really nice piece of airflow through that. I was surprised. I was expecting that to not be that effective. But I think whether it's uh, down to the peak or just the design of the helmet. But you do get a lot of air flowing through there. Much more than I thought you would. And you've got permanently open exhaust vents at the back here just to help draw that warm air out. On the chin bar there is an internal deflector. So if you open that you can have the airflow going straight through to your face. Clip it up. And the airflow is directed through these vents here onto the shield itself. So again, a good way of keeping condensation to a minimum. And I must admit, I haven't worn this in really poor weather. Uh, I've had some a little bit of drizzly rain. I've not experienced any issues with fogging or misting on this helmet at all. One other great thing I like about this vent here is you can take this off so that you get a lot more airflow in and it can be done without any tools you've just got a little tab at the bottom here if you pop that up that comes off and there you've got just airflow straight through again you've got the deflector to, to move that up or have it coming straight in and you can also just clip that deflector out again no tools required so you get airflow straight through another thing i, I like about this not only can you just take it off without using any tools 
It also has a piece of foam on the back there. So very useful for keeping grit and dust out and also very useful for keeping those small flies that seem to work their way through and can be a real annoyance when you're riding. That stops that and you can obviously just take that out knock it out, wash it out, pop it back in again, and uh, you're good to go. The peak itself is adjustable. You can change the position of that, and it's pretty quick and easy to take off. You've just got a couple of covers on the side here that you pop that off. One thing I will say about the visor before I go on is you do need to unscrew this. Uh, it isn't a quick release on this visor. It does need to be unscrewed, but it can be done with a coin. You don't need a screwdriver to do that. You can just unscrew those two, pop that out. Turning to the interior, there's a small chin sock again, which is removable, but when that's in place, it just helps funnel the air underneath. The neck roll, very comfortable, a sort of a suede feeling here, and then a, almost like a neoprene feel to this section on the outside. This is water resistant, and the idea is that this is designed, again with this beading, to try to prevent water from channeling up inside the helmet in wet weather now i've only ridden it in drizzly rain uh, but i so i can't tell if this works in torrential rain but it's certainly a really comfortable helmet now the big question i get asked is how noisy is the helmet and i found this to be a pretty quiet helmet i had no real issues no whistling from the visor and i think because that chin bar drops down quite low it does a good job of deflecting the wind on the tiger it was fine i, do, I did get a little bit of buffeting on the peak uh, but i get a little bit of buffeting on that bike seems to be regardless of any helmet that i wear so it wasn't a hindrance i didn't get any lift or any push down on it that seemed to work very well it was more noticeable when doing shoulder checks so i had a spell on a naked bike with no screen and i had no issues with that whatsoever and as i said that peak works well good for deflecting the sun so you don't have to bother with the drop down visor which this helmet obviously doesn't have you can get a series of different colored uh, visors to go on here um, so you've got a mix and match and as i say i think in this white with a dark visor and no peak this would be a pretty wicked looking helmet Right, I thought I'd show you the helmet on here because I noticed in the video footage I got on the bike, uh, because of the angle of the camera and probably a little bit of the fisheye that we had going on, it made this peak look really tall and really far away from the helmet. Uh, when it's an actual fact, as you can see, it's not. You've got a really decent amount of vision uh, from here. If you want to do a shoulder check, then these side pieces are cut back far enough that you've got a really good easy vision there even with the visor down because this max vision pin lock goes right round to the edge up here riders random start riders ready watch the gate there's also provision to fit any kind of generic comm system to this as well uh, you've got pockets for earpieces there's plenty of room at the front to be able to fit a microphone uh, down on the side of the chin bar and you've got access uh, down the side here to be able to run the cables and bits so shouldn't be a problem fitting comms to this if you want that okay so there you go an adventure style helmet that is lightweight good looking comfortable well ventilated great vision lots of nice features and it's priced pretty decently as well. I really like it. I've been really impressed with it. Uh, again, I want to thank AGV UK for lending this to me. I have looked after it for you. As I say, I can't really do many of these reviews without the help from some of the manufacturers. But because I'm not being paid, I don't get any kickbacks. Yeah, occasionally I might get some free gear, but not always. Um, but it doesn't sway me what I want to do is just give you an honest opinion of all of the gear that I try generally my reviews are pretty decent and that's because I'm quite picky about what it is I review in this scenario this is a great helmet really like this would be happy to have this in my collection on my shelf and I don't think anybody looking for an adventure helmet is going to be disappointed if they try this so if there's anything that I've missed, uh, you can ask me in the comment section down below. And all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And until next time, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.